Okay, so uh, chapter two, module two, introduction to macroeconomics. This just is going to kind of introduce sort of the three main indicators that we use to describe the macroeconomy. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the business cycle. Business cycle are the ups and downs of the economy through time. Okay. Sometimes the economy is doing great. Sometimes it's not so great. Um, and so the business cycle sort of measures the ups and downs that we see. Here you can see um, we're looking at one indicator, which we'll talk about in a minute, the unemployment rate. Okay. And you can see towards the end in the great recession, it is, as it has been uh, referred to, unemployment climbs to over 10%. Obviously, this is a little bit old, and now we're down back around where we were back in 1989, right, hovering right around 5%, maybe even a little bit lower. Okay, so a little bit of information about the business cycle. Um, there are four parts to the business cycle. Um, there's no you know, particular order, it doesn't matter which is first, but they do follow the same sequence. The first is the peak. Peak of the cycle is when things are the best. The economy is doing great. Businesses are working at their full potential. Everybody's working. We're at full employment. Unemployment is very low. Okay, following a peak, okay, we fall what's no, into what's known as a recession. Recession is output is declining, income is going down, employment is uh, going down, unemployment's beginning to rise. Okay, um, obviously, recessions are something we would like to uh, avoid. Um, the next is the trough. The trough is sort of the antithesis to the peak. Peak is the high point. The trough is the lowest point. Unemployment is high. Businesses are doing the worst. And then coming out of the trough, we get into a recovery period or an expansionary period. Um, we're starting to increase employment, output going up, and uh, we're starting to kind of do a little bit better. And the last important thing to understand about the business cycle is um, all of this occurs as GDP is increasing. You'll see in that graph there's a straight line sort of moving upward. That is GDP. And so even though we might be in a recession, overall GDP growth is generally rising. Okay, um, Sometimes uh, GDP will be going down. But over time, the trend is generally um, going up. Um, so let's look at unemployment, employment, and how that relates to the business cycle. Uh, when we talk about unemployment, we divide the uh, population into three groups. We'll talk in more detail about this in, in a few weeks. Uh, the first is uh, people that are under the age of 16, people in jail, people in the military, for purposes of unemployment numbers, we don't count those people, right? They're part of the, um, you know, they obviously live in America, but we don't include them in the unemployment calculations or the employment calculations. Next, we talk about the labor force. The labor force is uh, composed of two groups of people. We have the employed, people working, and we have the unemployed. Unemployed, and this is maybe a little bit tricky, are not just the people that, aren't working, but they have to be actively seeking work, okay? If you're not working, but you're not really looking for work, you're not considered unemployed, okay? Anyone else, people that are not looking for work, people that are just a stay-at-home mom, a stay-at-home dad, these people are considered not in the labor force. Um, again, we'll go into this in a little bit more detail in uh, a couple weeks. More on the business cycle, output. Output is also known as GDP, and this is the economy's total production of goods and services in a time period, usually over the course of a year. Output is related to employment, okay? When the economy is doing well, okay, towards the top, towards the peak of the business cycle, goods and services are being produced, People are buying things, businesses need to hire more people, and unemployment is low, okay? So a strong economy means low unemployment. And of course, the opposite is true. 
when we hit a recession, less goods and services are being produced. Firms have no need to keep people on. Why pay people if no one's buying your things? And so unemployment goes up. Okay, And so here you have the relationship between output and employment. All right, Inflation, deflation, price stability. Uh, you know, one of the main goals that most economies ha want is stable prices. You know, we take comfort knowing that when I go to the store, I know what I'm going to be paying for milk, gas, whatever it might be. Okay, inflation, an important term, is a rise in the overall price level. Um, this doesn't mean every price is rising, okay? Some might go up, some, some might go down. But overall, prices are going up. Obviously, when things are more expensive, we can't buy as much as we used to. Okay? Deflation is a fall in the overall price level. All right? And we'll talk again in a few days on what we mean by the overall price level, how we measure it, and so on. Um, when prices are falling, okay, uh, consumers hold their money. Right? They say, okay, I don't need to go out and rush out and buy this thing because maybe it'll be cheaper someday in the future. And they wait for lower prices. We learned this when we learned about factors of demand. If I expect prices to go down, am I going to buy anything now? No way. Okay? And then um, what happens when we experience deflation? Producers lower prices. Consumers wait. They don't buy things. Lower prices. And so... You know, you might say to yourself, oh, gosh, deflation is a good thing, but it's not, okay? Deflation is not a good thing. What most economies want is uh, inflation at a very small rate. I think the target that the Fed sets is right around 2%, okay? So we want prices to go up, but we want them to go up at a relatively small rate, Okay. And as I said, price stability is generally pretty desirable. And then continuing, economic growth is increasing output over time, right? We talked about that upward trend in GDP. This is something that all economies want to do. They like to grow. They want to produce more over time, okay? And this helps our standard of living. It helps businesses, families, everybody do better. 